Clinical trials have shown that medical circumcision protects men from infection. Yet you're doing a circumcision study. Why? Before you can put on a biomedical intervention onto a community, you have to know what the community does, why it does it, how it does it. He was cut by his older brother, and then while doing that, or when they, when he did that, he passed on the skill onto him. We found incredibly diverse practices. Men were doing dorsal slits, they were doing cowboy slits, they were doing all these kinds of slits that are not a full circumferal circumcision. Men were also putting inserts into their penis. Men were also putting other substances into their penises to make them bigger, longer, whatever. Um, and I think that was really important because you have to understand both the clinical and the social implications of those practices before you could even think about another intervention on top. You do V-cut or long? Long cut. How do you do the cut? <laughs> How, how old are the boys generally? What's the age? Eight, uh, eight, ten. Is it painful? No. I'm not painful. I'm just like mosquito bite. <laughs> <laughs> we asked the community what do they think about this kind of practice in terms of a medical male circumcision program. And we found a really big difference. Men were for it, men thought it would be great. Women, you know, working from their own life history said, we think that will give men license to have more sex, have more partners. Some women thought it would rape more. Do women like when men are cut? Yeah. All Mary or like it. Why? Why do they care? Why do they like it? <laughs> because time people make him long cut to the skin and go sleep side now. I was going sleep one till Mary and to the skin and side there and file him on the side there. And file him side all Mary and more like him. What age do boys start having sex here usually? So you start looking less over here or over here? Sometimes 11. Have you seen infections before? After a cutting, and so we spent a long time, maybe 18 months, collecting data from the four regions of the country. We did the Eastern Highlands, we went out to West New Britain, which has traditional circumcision, we went to the East Sea Peak, and we went to Port Moresby. And Port Moresby is a melting pot, really, of the whole country. And we did a mathematical model, what, what impact male circumcision could have on the epidemic, compare that to what actually improving access to treatment could have on the epidemic. And I think it sided with actually treatment access would be a much better use of money.